Enemy paratroopers had dropped behind our lines. A job for the tracker dog, who is taught to identify and follow human scent. Labradors are particularly good at it. At the start of a track, the lead is unclipped from the collar and attached to a light body harness. The dog now knows he's on duty. Seek. Good boy. Seek on. Seek. Good dog. He has learned to work across all types of country. This could have been tricky, but as the enemy went straight across, the dog had no difficulty in picking up the scent on the other side. He can cope with this too, following the track across a hot, dusty, well-used tarmac road. If you're on the wrong end of a chase, you just can't win. The tracker dog sees to that. An enemy ambush holds less terror for patrols these days providing they have an infantry patrol dog to help them spot the enemy. This can be done without the risk of giving away their own position, for the patrol dog can detect an ambush from 150 to 200 yards away. Enemy to the front, fire! The mine detection dog is essential in a case such as this, where the nearness of the metal railway line makes it impossible to use the conventional mine detector. Good dog. Dogs can help here too. After a battle, casualties are often hard to find, either because they have been covered by rubble or because they have crawled for cover and then collapsed. This is where the casualty detection dog comes in. With his highly developed sense of smell, he can locate casualties which even the most conscientious stretcher party might miss. If he finds a casualty, 
he reports it by sitting in front of his handler. Good boy. Had he found nothing, he would have come to heel. All these specialist dogs can function in many useful ways in both war and peace. For example, those who have served in trouble spots overseas have reason to be thankful for the search dogs, which do such excellent work in locating hidden terrorist arms. Um. The infantry patrol dog can be used in different ways. Um working loose as well as on a lead. The help of army tracking dogs is often requested by the civil police when searching for escaped convicts or missing persons in difficult country. In large enclosed areas, a compound dog can be employed. The handler merely needs to be near enough to hear him bark. Or here, on isolated outposts and particularly vulnerable points where the dog is used with a sentry. The dog's company is a boost to morale and makes surprise attack far less likely. The most effective team, however, is the patrolling sentry and his dog. Guard dogs can be trained to arrest a man without actually attacking him, merely keeping him in the same place until the handler arrives. This is important where there is the possibility of innocent people being attacked. The ways then in which a dog can help man are numberless. Some are as old as history. All are based on one principle, the dog's desire to please his master. <laughs>